Yeah, I know, buddy. I don't know where that came from. My buddy. You're my boy. Alrighty, YouTube. We should be live and in color. Don't know what it's looking like. Don't know how the stream is. But I'm hoping it's working good. Yes, indeedy. Still trying to find out about this machine. So it's taken a little bit of time to get used to. And of course, it popped me back in the top chat again. I don't know why it does that. Now I'm back on live chat. So let's see who gets up this early in the morning. Happy Saturday, everybody. Had a lot of plans for today. They all got shot down the tube when my wife called last night and said that she left all her wallet contents here. and They weren't in her purse when she took it. And now I need to drive to Pensacola today and give her her wallet. And then I have to drive back and take care of my animals. <laughs> so I got a half a day's worth of driving ahead of me. That's okay. It's foggy out. I don't feel like leaving in the fog, so I'm going to wait till the fog clears. Let's see what happens. So, who all's up this early in the morning? Anybody? Or nobody? Good morning, Sean. Mr. Crawley. How you doing, buddy? And no, Sean, I have not found my snapper yet i'm about ready to just give up looking because about the time i stop looking for it i'll find it probably i don't know for sure about that but that's always a possibility how's mr rory i'm trying to find something here well, that's not what I mean. Rodney Bell. Hello, sir. Nice stream you and Mark did the other night. I really, really enjoyed that. Really did. Okay, let me see what we got here. I'm still trying to learn this. Okay, that was simple. What I need to learn how to do, guys, and I'm having a hell of a time trying to figure it out. Does anybody know how to highlight or cut and paste with a Macintosh? Because what I've been trying to do, obviously, is the way you do it on a IBM, and it is not working at all. So I'm going to have to take some Mac lessons from my daughter today when I go down to Pensacola. That's all there is to it. Well, I am going to try something here in a minute. Yeah, that's... Hey, Asgard, good morning, my friend. Let me try something here.
Well, I found that pretty easy. Hmm. I might, and if I get this to work. Hey, Dennis. I'm going to try and get back tonight in time to see you on um, Mark's show. I can't make any guarantees, but I'm definitely going to try. Not sure how it's going to work out. That's the problem. Uh, let me check this thing. R. L. Belkin. My buddy's here. He's he's been a little under the weather. Mommy forgot to put his collar on him. His flea collar. It's a special one. When she cleaned him up the day before yesterday, I came home yesterday and he was not feeling good at all he's getting better he gets these nasty flea things send again i don't know if i can see that's the problem i'm trying to send it this way Now that looks different. No, I really want to make it back and see it. I'm a little peeved at my wife. She went away for the weekend, and then she calls me last night and says, oh, I left my wallet. You need to bring it down to me. It's like, that's a four-hour trip down and back. Well, two hours down, two hours back. And I had plans for today. So... Yeah, anybody out there knows how to cut and paste with a Mac. I sure like to know how because I'm having a hell of a time trying to figure it out. Manic, good morning, sir. Good morning. Yeah, I think Mr. Crawley's one of the ones I can't invite the normal way. That would figure. Let me find. Here it is. King Pizza Zero Eight at Gmail. Let me try one more person. See what happens. Make sure I got the right Addy. Yep, that's it. Oh, it erased it. Oh, you bump. See if this one works. So, what you guys got planned for today? Are you guys up north still buried under snow? We didn't get any snow last week, but we got down in the 30s for five days. About as much winter as we're going to get. No plans at all. Good. Brandon, hello. Welcome to the stream. Let's check out each other's channels, guys. I keep forgetting to tell people that.
It's an interesting channel. Yes, indeed. Not bad, sir. Not bad at all. Just having an early morning chat with friends. Let me give you a wrench. We don't allow any fights and we don't allow any cursing because we get a lot of little kids every once in a while come popping in. Probably not at this hour. Well, then again, they're little kids. They might come in at this hour of the morning. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, did I forget to do that while I was there? Let me check. Nope, I'm already subscribed. Okay, that's what I thought. Manic, did you get the email? I sure hope this stuff's going to work on this, because if it's not, this thing's going back. I'll just go back to an IBM. I'm still trying to find yours. Okay, Sean, let me try one more time. Uh... Wow, 955, only 45 more to hit that magic thousand. That's great. I don't even know if I ever made 700 yet. Well, I don't know why these aren't working. Got to be a reason. Okay, there he is there. Yahoo. RL Belco 72. Okay, see if any of those work. All righty. Yeah, that's one thing I need to check. No, that's not it. This one. Well, I guess it's not seeing it. It's not seeing my Logitech at all. Interesting. Wow. The myth, the man, the legend. Is it going to work, though? What's up? Hey, there he is. Good morning, my friend. What's happened? That took a couple of times. <laughs> I hear you, man. You look tired. It's early, I know. Yeah, hold on one second. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least as I know it works. There we go. 
Ah, there you go. Got your hat on. Now we know Mr. Crawley. How you doing, brother? Doing fine. Yourself, sir? Well, Rory's playing with his box. I got oh. a Maverick Pro yesterday. Oh, cool. You got it. Excellent. What's that? I said you got your Maverick Pro? Yeah, oh, hold on. You know what I got to do? Yeah. It might be I'm me, guys. I might have to put the volume up on this and put the volume down on this. Oh, look at look at look at my buddy down there. Trevor's got his green screen nice and tight. Now are we on? No, it was me. Oh, you're on. Right, so you can see me there. Yes. No, we can't see you. Oh, you can. So, Mr. Crowley, you're a gang. You're a you're a you jokester. I was going to call you a gangster, but you're not a gangster. <laughs> nice set up there, bud. Radio, that's what I look like with this vision. I've got another camera up there, guys. I'll just plug it in at the moment. I don't have the bandwidth to do both. Yeah, well, you, you can do one at a time, though, right? Switching it over. Yeah, see you fine. Push the one that says off. <laughs> oh, my buddy here. Hey, he likes being on TV. Yeah, he just doesn't like being held. <laughs> you can see my art. Yeah. So that's where I'm going to do my art and my drone building. Cool. You're getting it put together there, bud. So I have start. Yeah, Rodney, I did you one. Starcop, a year later, I now have another aerial drone. Good, man. Good. I'm very hey, Rodney, excited. Rodney, I sent you a link. Did you get it? See, the, the thing I can't do is, well, let me try. Yeah, it won't let me. This is not at all like doing it on an IBM. Nothing is even similar. No. And I ain't trying to type that in there. I can do it by email this way. I know I'm missing a finer point of a Macintosh somehow. There must be a command you have to use to copy but hey we'll figure it out yeah thank you dennis thank you bud let me see where i so now do you have to do that drive today Starcraft? yeah i gotta leave here as soon as uh well, I'm going to wait till the fog clears. I ain't driving. In, I've got such thick fog right now, I can't even see the mailbox. And it's a quarter mile away, so I ain't going out in that. Well, let me try one more. Let me make sure I got the right Addy. Okay. Okay. I sent it to you again, Rodney. Yeah. I wasn't surprised. We didn't get any rain last night, but it really was kind of humid yesterday, so I kind of figured this hourly morning. Thank goodness I don't have to go to work because I'd be out there driving in that crap. 
it's been really nice days. <laughs> Humidity rolled in from the beach, I guess. Hey, 12 days till spring. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget the clocks go uh, forward today, guys. We're going to lose some sleep. Don't you think that's funny? It's usually on a Sunday they go back. Well, they forward. do. It, they do it. on. It, it's happened, but it happens at like 2 o'clock in the morning on Sunday. So if you don't set them correctly before you go to bed, you're not going to wake up Sunday at the right time. Oh, okay. That's why this ain't do it Saturday. Yeah, they're saying you they're late, late for church. Manic, what happened to you? I don't know. I'm pushing too many buttons. I've sorted out. Well, stop pushing. Is that better? <laughs> Manic, push, push the video button, Manic. Are you on OBS? No. You push the you push the uh, video button. On top of the chat, it looks like a little, uh, not the chat, on top of the uh, Google, it looks like a video camera. Very middle center of the... Yeah. Oh, I see. I press that button. Is that better? No. We just get your voice. That's how I know you got your cameras off. There you go. There you go. Right, yeah. Therefore, I've got that. All right. Thank you, Sean. You're welcome. That'll be I a dollar. I can count on you. Okay, I'll give you two dollars. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I got you on that view. Uh, but I'll shift my camera over so I don't get all that crap. So I can see his chat. How you going, Paul? Oh, but I'll just show you. See my lights? Oh, yeah. Man, he's got a studio. I'd show you my light. I've got lights up in that corner. Just the light. And that's all my art here in there. So I'm going to fill that all up with art gear. So I've got the back screen for my Redneck channel. Cool beans. What's up, Dennis Lovelady? Paul Murray. The brownie man. I don't have any brownies. Back to you now. It's not all about me. <laughs> oh, I share. I know you do, buddy. I just don't want to steal your channel. Oh, you have to break into the house to do that. Yeah, but I'm just all excited because it, it means a lot to me because I'm poor. I'm I'm as poor as anyone here. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> Mr. Paul, I sent you a link too, but uh, here's the problem. Uh, I have to send it through Hangouts, through the invite, so I hope you get it. Uh I've yet to figure out how to copy this ad and put it. Is this stream doing any better than the other one was, or is it about the same? The clarity is not as much. Are they using a different camera? Really? On the iMac, on this end, it's a lot clearer picture than it was before. Huh. I would hate to take this thing back and say, well, it doesn't do what my IBM can do, so I'll just keep my IBM. <laughs> I really don't want to do that. Where do you put your violin? Ooh, I hear something ringing. It's not on mine. I think that's your other call that you did to uh, manage. Yeah, I'm on hang up. I don't know. Yeah, it's not instantaneous. Huh. Oh, it's a cell phone. Let me check something. Uh, network. If I go poof, guys, I apologize. But what I need to do... Yes, I need to turn this off. <laughs> Dennis Lovelady, where did I put my violin? What's yeah. this? 
the world's smallest violin playing for manic. What do you mean? The world's smallest violin playing my heart bleeds for you. Yeah, my heart bleeds for you. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, Manic. It wasn't meant to be tied in that way. Look at Manic with a green screen and everything. Moving on up. He's, He's got, got all his lights. Studio, studio lighting. Studio lighting and green screen. Yeah. This guy's professional. I'm going to do a video on how to do it redneck style. I've done it for under a 1,300 American, this whole studio. Yeah, I don't know how to. I thought you would just come straight into this if I sent you a link. That's including the computer. Okay, let me see something. Hmm. Okay, what am I doing wrong, guys? The two of you came straight in. I never heard the phone ring, but Rodney, that was him trying to call in a second ago. Okay, mine it came in, rang the first time. What you got to do is you got to go, you have to make sure you put it, you can't do it by their name. You have to do it by their email. Right. And then it should go through, but it'll be a delay. Like Rodney probably got it, and it's probably just as a delay. Okay. Ronnie, you still got the link? Yeah, he's saying that he hasn't received it yet. Oh, you haven't received it. Well, hang on. Yeah, I would try it again and see if it goes through. And it'll take it'll take a few seconds before Rodney gets it. He has to go to his email and check it. <laughs> he wants to go to Gmail. He's Sean's old hat. He knows how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the day you didn't know how to? It didn't seem very long ago. I know. But now huh? you, you've had that so much experience. I remember them right. saying, here, yeah, make sure you go to Google. And I'm like, I don't know Google Hangout. How do I do that? And that's yeah. Fine. I didn't even want to do it because I was all nervous. I'm like, this isn't going to work. Me too, buddy. Me too. Now, Rodney, make sure I'm you sorry. check your uh, email. Check your spam. Sean, I'm so super excited about your new purchase. Paul, did you have any luck? <laughs> I sent it to your net zero. So super excited for you, Sean. Oh, I'm looking site. It's coded in uh it's got a it's got a coding on it of um the same material that you make uh, quads with the um, carbon fiber. It's got carbon fiber coating. It looks it looks badass. Oh, wow. oh. it's really nice. So happy. I have an antenna on it that'll give me over four and a half miles. Not that I'm gonna do that, but I can switch mm -hmm. it from three different antennas. So if I'm just doing it like around a, a field or a pond. Or versus if I'm going to go a few miles out or if I'm going to do over four and a half miles. And it has a strength. It's called um, a Max Mod Edition. And just the antenna alone on it's like $500. That's no, fantastic. <laughs> I'm flying my drone any more than five. I'm too scared. Well, I used to fly, I I used need to to fly my Phantom like a mile, mile and a half away, and then I would start to lose reception. And then I got the extenders, and that's when the bird came and attacked it. Now I'm going to carry my okay. 1911 on me. If a hawk comes, I'm just going to shoot it. Oh, my God. I'm not even going to I'm going to shoot the hawk. I'm not going to let it happen. Right, yeah, if you shoot the hawk, Sean, yep. just don't tell me. Don't tell me because I used to have a, a bird sanctuary for hawks, but oh, I know really? that something's got to be done. So just well, don't tell me. It's funny. A hawk actually attacked my drone. I ended up getting a hawk five with a hawk eye camera. <laughs> yeah, it's strange, isn't it? And I used to like hawks until they took down my drone. Now I hate hawks. But they are beautiful. Yeah, I can understand that. Mate. But they are. I know beautiful. they are. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know, Rodney. I I can't do it through AOL because I can't copy this damn link. I don't know how to copy it. I guess on a a uh, Macintosh. The commands must be something different. I don't know. Can't you right click it and 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 doesn't it do it like Windows? It, it won't do it like Windows. That's what I'm saying. If I double click on it, it like as soon as I right click on it to tell it to copy it, it disappears. Right. Yeah, Paul, I'm trying to send it through Hangouts. And as you know, for some reason with you, that doesn't work. Don't know why. I'm sending it to your net zero. See, Starcop, I've got um, Skype, and now I've got another one called Zoom because I've been going on lots of different interviews. And so every they, they use a different platform in Hangouts. So on like the video call guy, I've got to use Zoom, which is a download off of, off of Chrome. And now that works really good. And that's so easy. You just click on it. You don't have to put in a link. It's all done for you. You just click on it, join the room, and that's it. You don't have to invite anyone. Hang on a second. Let me. There we go. This is the uh, bad boy. Thank you, Dennis. Hang on a second, guys. Dennis, yeah, may, okay. Dennis may have solved our problem. Let me go to compose here. Let me put this down here. Oh, cool. Yep. Let's try this. I do, do you want to hear the violins play again? I've got to eat <laughs> potatoes. I've got to eat potatoes and corn to save up for all this stuff. <laughs> no meat this boy. week. <laughs> oh, cool. Mm. Love it. it. It's got the black coating on it. Yep. So I can't wait to fly it. Because I know how super excited you get, Sean, over your whoops. Imagine how excited you are inside for that little craft, that bird. Oh, oh I'm, I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, that's looking nice, I can imagine, mate. Mm. I'm so happy for you. Dennis, since you fixed everything, why don't you type your email in? I don't understand if you don't want to type it in chat. You guys should have your emails now. I sent them through AOL, so hopefully this will work. That's how it usually works with you guys. We'll see. Guys, check out this well, antenna. Oh yeah, I've seen those before. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That'll get some distance. Oh, there, there we go. Somebody's in. Cool. Yes. Okay, I'll try that, Dennis. Excuse me one second. Let me just grab my stuff. Yeah, I don't think it worked for the other two. This is going to be perturbing me. That's sad because I'd like to see him. I want to see Dennis and um, and um, and Rodney and Paul if he wants to come up. I think they're trying. They're all good people. They're all good people. Oh, no. Now they're getting upset that I don't want them anymore. 
Oh, we do want to, buddy. Oh, brownie man. There he is. The myth, the man. Yeah, they didn't <laughs> in. Well, now, now they're getting upset that I don't want them anymore. Oh, we oh, do. Now who needs man. to buy There he is. Oh, brownie man. There he is. The myth, the man. Yeah, they didn't <laughs> buy in. Well, now, now they're getting upset that I don't want them anymore. Oh, Back off. Right. I thought you said Paul wasn't going to be here. Oh, you're going to leave because Paul showed up? No, I thought you said Paul wasn't going to be here. I'm going to stay. I like Paul. It just took forever to get him in. What's happening, guys? I like Paul, too. I'll be right back. I like Paul's brownies. <laughs> Paul likes Paul's hey, brownies, brownies, too. Paul's got a bad call. Oh, I'm sorry, Paul. Did you hear right. me tell you yesterday that Walmart was out of brownie bites? <laughs> you mean these guys right here? Yeah, uh -oh. guys right there. Hey, Dennis, what the first time you've ever come on this one? <clears throat> I've never been on this one. I don't think I've ever seen Dennis without a smile. I think his, his cheeks are just kind of glued up there like that. It is. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> what I do. I have, it's actually a mask. Yeah, one too many faces. <laughs> You know, <laughs> Den Dennis, Dennis, you almost look like R Ron Howard. Oh my goodness! Well, that's an honor. He's got way more hair than Ron Howard. A little yeah, bit, Ron but not much. Ron, How Ron Howard's getting like this. Oh, Ron Howard's way past that. If you've seen yeah, him, yeah, way past that. <laughs> he he is way past that. I wouldn't What's mind up, having a couple of Ron Howard movies behind me. We got to work on Rodney here. <laughs> Rodney, I don't know what to tell you. I sent it to the email, and Dennis showed me how to copy and paste. Finally, I learned that. That was a guess. Hey, it, uh, anything, man. I'm here to tell you, it's <clears throat> getting frustrating. Yeah, I understand that. I was I was trying all last night to cut and paste things. I'm going, what the heck's wrong with this computer? <laughs> yeah, they have their own way of doing things. Henry, say hi, everybody. Hey, puppy. Hey, hi. Hi. Hey, I'm number nine. <laughs> number nine. Number yep. nine. Number nine. <laughs> Come on, Rodney. You can do this. I don't know. Let me go back. I wonder why Rodney Bell didn't want to be on. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I know what it is. He shaved that beard, and now he can't show his face. Is that what it is? That's what it is. He feels naked now. Yeah. So is anybody flying today? I might, but I don't know where I would go. I'm dying to fly. I just want to go on and fly somewhere. I might fly in my backyard. Yeah, I often do that, but I don't really count that anymore. So... <laughs> yeah, I but I've been with all the bird for a year now. Good morning, Mason. I, I would like to go out. I've been tracking a ship, but uh, it's 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 downbound. It should be here in about four hours out of Lake Huron, but. As you can hear my voice, I don't know whether I should be or not. Yeah, that doesn't sound like the best idea. You've been spending too much time online, my friend. <laughs> I'm not Rodney, Rodney, yeah. <laughs> Rodney, Rodney says, that's all right, Mr. I'm jealous because Mr. Crowley has a new drone. <laughs> I got a new drone. I got a new drone. <laughs> Rodney, I sent you another invite. To just you without you know anybody else in the header. It went to your the Gmail address. I'm pretty sure it's going to you because it brings up your logo whenever I type it in. So. Yeah, it should be going to him then. Yeah. Oh. What was that? That was my AOL. Let me see. Well, it keeps saying it can't send it to you. 
I'm getting them. Okay. Why would it show his? Okay. Let's try one more time. What if I do this? So yesterday, I'm I'm laying out all the stuff that I got with this drone, and uh, I got it all spread out all over the living room floor. Well, Rory comes over, and Rory starts pecking at things, pulling things, taking things. Well, he takes one of the cables, and I'm like, Rory, and he looks at me, and he runs away with the cable. Oh, no. And I had to chase him. I chased him into the living room, and he ran under the couch. And I'm like, you got to be shitting me. I'm sorry, excuse me. So I'm like, you got to be kidding me. That's what I meant to say. And then, uh, so he goes down to the end of the couch, comes out, bolts back into the den where I have all the stuff, and I get him cornered, and he drops it and leaves. (laughs) So the whole time I was down, every time I bring drone stuff out, he, he comes over to it. Like, if I bring out the whoops, he actually picks the whoops up and flings them. There's Rodney. Finally. Hey. Hey, Dennis. What's happening, Hey, Rick. Hey, Paul. Hey, Hey, Sean. How's everybody? Hey, Matt. How you all doing today? (laughs) Well, I'm doing better now that I finally find out this thing will work. (laughs) (laughs) Well, now there go the rumors about us. We're both in the same room. Yeah. I here's what I don't understand. I, I I your your address, Rodney, is it R L Belco? Yeah, R R L Belco seven two. Yeah. Basically it translates to R L Bell class seventy two. Right. And uh I use that for both my Gmail and my Yahoo. Yeah, what was happening was I thought the L was an I. Ah, uh, okay. okay. The first three went through, and I said, well, let me try a different letter because it's all over. It looks the same. So somewhere out there, there's someone getting these emails from you, <laughs> scratching their head. Wondering, Who is this nut called Stark? <laughs> no, they, they all came back as what I call demon mailers. Oh, okay. So okay. The address doesn't exist, can't go through, can't be sent. So <laughs> luckily, there's nobody else out there that's getting them. <laughs> well, that, that's a good thing. Hey, uh, good morning, Mason Kaiser. How you doing today, buddy? Why don't you send an invitation to some other random address, Rick? <laughs> <laughs> uh, just start going through email. How you doing, Mason? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, calm down. Don't let the excitement get to us. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid if I go to that, Paul, I'll lose y'all. Yeah, it, I would. I would say just copy it. Um, yeah, here but, we go again. <laughs> I, I did it. I did it. Uh, that was a flight I took last night about five o'clock down on the water, over the Blue Water Bridges, out into the lake. With the back, with with the uh, wow. with the duo. Oh, when I did when I when I edited it, I did five or ten, fifteen seconds of RGB, then went continued on in the thermal, then went back to RGB all the way through. You can can you blend them too? <laughs> yeah, if you want to cut, if you want to, if you want, through editing, you got to cut and then know where to cut and then bring the other one in and then cut again and yeah, yes. In, in the in the Apache, what we can do is we can take the thermal and we can take the low level light TV and go like this with them, yeah, and watch both of them at the same time. Yeah, cool. That's one thing I have to learn is um, editing. The duo, the duo uh, um, gives you uh, when you download it. Gives you actually two file, two video files. One is RGB, and the other one oh, being okay. the third. <coughs> that would still be cool. It would, yep. absolutely, most definitely. 
you think it was deliberate that they put the Enterprise out, sold a whole bunch of them, and then, oh, by the way, we've got this dual sitting over here. How would you like that? That is so DJI. Yeah. Yes, it is. <clears throat> yeah. They, they've got that market sewn completely up, and they know it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I, I think they're going to come out with like what I call the dual dual, which will be two different cameras. You'll have one will be able to zoom like the zoom, like the uh, the zoom does, and then the thermal. Yeah, that would be wow. interesting. Yeah, that would definitely. But can you imagine if the thermal could zoom? Yeah. Oh boy. <coughs> uh, I I love. I, I I guess I could download the manual. It all give me. I'd love to know what the MRT is on the thermal camera. Because that's that's what determines how good the camera is. Right. I lost this stream on my phone. I'm trying to find the link for it again. Seems to be oh. this one. What time did you come on? It wasn't six hours ago. Come on, what's wrong? No, with this? it was six o'clock. I know, it's just a few minutes. That's the other thing. I was setting this thing up last night and uh you know how computers are. Where do you live? Where is this? And it asked to use location services through my Wi-Fi so I could set my time. So I said, okay, go ahead. And, blah, blah, blah. and I looked up and I went, there's no freaking way. It's 7 o'clock at night. It's already 9, nine something. The damn thing thought I was in California. Yeah. Uh, how would I be in California? <laughs> that would be uh, quite the trick there, Rick. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I had to had to go in and manually just do it because present position through the Wi-Fi was not working. Did what? did any did anybody happen to catch last night Rogers' late night show with uh, on Mel. Mel Mel was in the stream and he was so dejected because he had to reduce. He couldn't afford to maintain. He'd gone over on his uploads and uh, speeds because he was going through Verizon and he got a bill for like $800. Oh my and, goodness. <laughs> and he had to reduce it down to the unlimited, which, you know, gives him, he, he was kind of blurry like Roger. So the two of them and, and, and Mel was sitting there looking so dejected. <laughs> yeah. I know it's pain. I tell you that, but I'm just glad I got this many people in and I can see you guys clearly. Yeah. <laughs> I, th I, you know, I, I, I get a lot of respect. I don't care if it's blurry or not. If it's something you want to watch, you watch it. You know. Now, now, right, right, um, Dennis, I've never seen that trick you do. Or <laughs> you, I put my name in at your your com, and boom, how's that work? I own the domain lovelady.com. Oh, okay, gotcha. So you know, I, I have I, email addresses for. A lot of uh, more important that's contents, cool. right? So my my electric bill goes to a certain, just automatically gets filtered to a certain place, and then this goes filtered to there, and you know, and so on. So, so and I can give people priority that way. So that's cool, so Dennis. Yeah. When when do I get my lovelady dot com at me mail? <laughs> Aren't I an like, important contact? Actually, <laughs> actually, you are. If you were to send something to Rodney at lovelady.com, I would still get it. It just won't be priority until I can get around to setting up that. <coughs> oh, but I you will still get the email. Buddy. If you send anything to Dennis at lovelady.com, however, it will go straight to junk because. Dennis, Dennis said the lovely, the, the, the word. Yep, man. round. I was waiting for the round to it. Yep. There you go, buddy. Round to it. Get in there and get it thanks, done. Thanks. I need, I need a few of those. <laughs> I love these ran, round to it, Rick. Good. Wow, it looks like a lot of people have those. You're going to have some, Sean. I'm trying to get something else done for you. <laughs> and it was going to get done today. But now i got to make a trip to Pensacola. And it's a print that I have to watch it and catch it at a specific spot so I can change colors on it. <clears throat> I can't just... Put it in and turn it on. Pensacola. Uh, that's what I bought a '67 Camaro out of Pensacola. Oh, you got to be careful about buying from any state along the Gulf. Oh, '67 Camaro. Nobody be stupid enough to do that. But a lot I of people. Pro Louisiana. I brought a Pro Street '67 Camaro. I flew down there, went to Pensacola, test drove the car, and then had it transported back. 
Yeah. It was a, a 671 blower on it, big block Chevy. Oh, baby. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I don't buy cars from anybody that lives along the Gulf because a lot of these old-timey CDB guys will back the trunk of their car or the rear end of their car down into that salt water to get a good ground, and they can uh. park ever on their CBs. And you get those cars, and the ass end just rusts out of them before you know it. <clears throat> wow. Good day, Mars. How you doing, buddy? Twerky. What's Mars. up, Mars? Mars, what's happening? I don't know if I have Twerky's address still. I used to have it. Used to have it somewhere. Oh, well, let's see. There's Rodney. It's been a while. There's RC Crazy. Nope, I don't work. I don't work daddy. Miles have a new collection. New addition to the collection. Ooh, RC trains. Drone pool. Time for a refill, folks. Oh, drone okay, pool. Dennis. Oh. Hey, Rick, I just discovered these these brownies kind of help with the cold. Oh, you better start eating a bunch more of them, man. Yeah, I, I still wonder what's in those brownies. <laughs> I, I see know. crazy what's are. happening. I'm amazed at how moist they are on the inside. It's almost like they got like a little bit of a cream inside. I'm going to have to try these out. They're brownie bites. Yeah. Hey, let's be crazy. How you doing? Are they made with real brownies? Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Don't crack me up, Rick. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Good morning, Rick. Good morning, fellas. How are you? I just wanted to stop in and say hi. 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 Hey, Paul. Do you have a oh, name for that guy? Yeah, it's, that's it. That's teeny, teeny weeny. Gotcha. Yeah, that's my. <laughs> have you introduced him to uh, Scully yet? Uh, otherwise known as my teeny weeny. No need to go there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll step away from that one. Hello, Mrs. RC. Uh, what do you think of all those beers? <laughs> hey, RC. Good morning, Mrs. Mrs. RC. Eric, I sent you a link. I got a, a, a better quality uh, screen, evidently, because on my old screen, this many people would have been all the way across the bottom, and we're not even halfway there yet. <laughs> Hello, Mars. How you doing? I'm wondering how many this thing will take before my stream just crashes. All I, all I can say is this ain't bad for 1.5 minutes. Yeah, it's excellent, actually. Uh-oh, off air. <clears throat> I'm still waiting for Eric to get that uh, Tyro 99 put together. <clears throat> Hey, Dennis, how's the weather looking there for tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning looks like at 8 o'clock it could be a hazy um, sunrise. So that would be a good thing as compared to the 80% chance of rain that I saw yesterday when I checked the same time slot. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. So, well, now, sun, sunrise tomorrow is going to be uh, an hour earlier on the clock, right? Yep. Mars, I need your your address i don't have it saved anywhere you actually have a point yeah let me see what time sunrise it's going to be close to seven o'clock not eight so i think it's going to be cloudy but no yeah. way it's going to be uh an hour sooner i guess yeah. right yeah yeah you're right or correct so sunrise today was uh 6.56, so it'll be 5.56, close to 6 o'clock. Okay, got you there, buddy. Let me see what I can do. 
Don't forget, change the smoke detectors. Uh, I don't do that, Sean. I'll tell you why here in a second. Let me get this email off to my buddy. <clears throat> and I'm actually liking this better than uh, the other way. It's much quicker doing it the Apple way. There's a lot about Apple that works very, very well. Well, that's why I've been wanting one, Dennis, and uh, I uh, have been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, and uh, the PX finally made me a deal I just couldn't uh, couldn't turn down. Well, that's good. Oh, yeah, my wife's been Sorry. Go ahead. There, I saw his head move. My wife's been using the iPhone since the iPhone 4, I guess, and... Uh, she really loves it, but I, I've been an Android and PC guy yeah. forever. But uh, just this year, or late last year, I, I got an Apple iPad. Some yep. of the things, like I say, some of the things about it just work extremely well. Other things, like there's no back button. I don't like that fact, you know, that kind of thing. Yep. Yeah, I was on my, I, I got an iPad with my, um, with my. Uh, he works like a back button. Mavic, and I was trying to go back, and I couldn't go back, and I couldn't figure it out. It was driving me crazy. Yeah. And then it's like to get yeah. back, you know, push this. I, I, I don't even know how I did it, but it was very confusing. And you can't just, you can kill the screen, but you, I don't know if it shuts it off or if it kills the screen. It was driving me nuts. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm gonna step out a minute and get me a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Mars, Mars is in there. Three sugars, thanks. Oh, I mean, I hear Be right back, guys. All right. Okay. Mars, Mars is in the room. camera. Got to turn your camera on. Hey, you going, Twerky? Uh, no, what I've got to do is turn my computer completely off for that camera to work. So oh, be careful, Paul. He might be wearing that maid outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll um, I'll exit and rejoin. Okay. You got to remember, he's our crazy down under friend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure am. Yeah. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Can you hear me right now, Rick? Yes, indeed. Right, yeah, because everything's delayed on my big screen, so which one should I be referring to? You're looking right at the camera. Or you were. There yeah, you go. Okay. There you go. I'll just deal with it. <laughs> the delay. <laughs> Mason Mason wants his black if you're listening, Rodney. Because <laughs> I, I can hear you and I can talk, so that's all that matters. <clears throat> That's how I used to drink my coffee when I drank coffee. I'm back. Coffee's still Hello. being made, though. Welcome back. That's a, nice beard. That's a nice beard trim you did the other day. I noticed it on uh, yeah. CD8. Yeah. Uh, hang on a second. I'm going to mute you guys. Uh, somebody's knocking. Okay. We want to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the time to turn the microphone on. Yeah. That's true. Well, let me see. RC, did you get the invite that I sent, or did I screw that one up too? Hey, I'm just glad I figured out how to send them through AOL now that I learned how to copy thanks to Dennis. That was calling. Mason, yeah, it looks like that video may come up sooner than I thought. Kitty cat. Well, Dennis typed in, hit the cod. I'm going, which one's the cod button? <laughs> oh, man, that N. Oh, okay, there's only one on here. It's either command or control. It's control. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that, that was spell checker that did that. I actually typed CMD, but it, uh, 
this this is what I can't get used to, man. Look at the how tiny that damn thing is. Yeah. Oh man, this is what I use. That is cool. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Well, since since we're showing our keyboards, oh, mine, right. is, mine is bigger yeah. than yours. Rodney wins. Big one wins. <laughs> <laughs> you hear them watching. You hear them knocking, but they can't come in because you're watching Star <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> oh, let me go check what's up with the printer. I'll be right back. Oh, it's so tempting to, to, to so get a 3D printer. Me too. When when uh, when Rick got his, I'm sitting there, and he sent me this uh, Mount Trump more. I'm like, right. man, I got to go get me one of those. I could have yeah. a lot of fun. I know. I'm afraid it would just sit there most of the time doing nothing. Oh, yeah. uh, I'd probably wear it out in the first three months. <laughs> I've been trying to wear it out. I've had it for three weeks, and it hasn't been turned off at one time. Which That's one good. did you get, Rick? Huh? Which one did you get? I got the Maker Pi, M A K E R P I, uh, K5. It's a uh, fully enclosed, heated bed. So far, I've been extremely happy with it. Great. Made a just a couple more of the Jesus Saves coins for the kids at church. Ah, nice. <laughs> but uh, oh, let me go get some. Did you guys just see right I mean uh Rick's dog just disappear? Hmm. He just disappeared. <laughs> I'm coming back. I don't know how many of you guys are any kind of Star Trek fan or whatever, but my wife is like she she used to wear a shirt before we were married and she was single and said where no man has gone before. We don't only have the initials of each word. Okay. That's how big a fan she was. But uh, if you, do you ever remember the episode, I think it was called City on the Edge of Forever. Oh, sure. Take a look at that. I just printed that for her last night. Oh, wow. A question. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, there we go. Cool. But. That's where they were standing there getting ready to win after Dr. McCoy. Uh, you can't really see who they are, but they're two little bodies at least. But that is very that's cool. The time machine that they would go into. It cool. came out beautiful. She, I hope she likes it. If it doesn't, she's going to get a swat up beside the head. Hey, Rick. <laughs> if you can figure, if, Rick, if you can figure out how to make a try, uh, Print a time machine, that'd be fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially if you can make it work. Yep. I have a if couple of capacitors if you need one. If I could, but it was only within your lifetime, where would you go back to? Oh, wow. <clears throat> a few minutes ago. <laughs> I always said if I could go back in time, I'd go back to high school and, and do better in high school and, uh, you know, kind of maybe make my life go in a different direction. Yeah, you never know. Uh, I uh, There's lots of things I look back on and go, man, I wish I would have listened to this back then. <laughs> yeah, boy, that's the truth. And you see it in your kids, too, because, you know, well, well, not with my one daughter, but my older daughter, she finally came around. She goes, you guys were right all those years. Oh, shit, Sherlock, really? Imagine that. Your parents know something. Did anybody ever have their parents tell them that when they were kids not to be so quick in growing up? Because once you get older, time will go faster. Of course. Oh, yeah. And it's true. Oh, absolutely yeah. true. It's like that song. I can't remember who sings it because I'm terrible with, with music. But it talks about uh, don't be in such a hurry. These are the best years of your life. You know, they'll be gone quick enough and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> and every time I hear that thing, I go, man, that is so true. Yeah, it it seemed like last year just flew by. It looked like it was. It yeah. seemed like it was over before it even started. Yeah, I agree with that. That's yeah. for sure. 
That's the whole say. story behind Pink Floyd's song "Time." Yes, uh, that's an amazing, amazing lyric. Yeah. Did Mars drop out? Ten years yeah. have gone behind you. No. He had to shut the computer down to get his camera to work. He said, "Oh, no one told you when to run. You missed the starting gun." That's yeah, one of my favorite songs. I saw Pink Floyd back in '87. With uh, Roger Waters, so check this out. No, I, I see Pink Floyd, and uh, I go to the concert. We leave the concert and we go over to this place called the living room. And this guy is playing guitar in there, and I'm like, Man, it looks like Steve Ray Vaughan. My uncle's like, I know, he goes, I keep it, looks just like him. Well, he stops, there's only like a hundred people in this in this club. And it's Steve Ray Vaughn. We got to wow. hang out with Steve Ray Vaughn at a small bar in uh, Rhode Island. Wow, that's this is great. right after seeing Pink Floyd. It was like an amazing night. Wow. Now to change change bands, do y'all know who ELO is, right? Yeah. Well, when they first first started in the business, they were the main attraction at a civic center in outside of Fort Bragg, about an hour away. So my friend and I drove over there. Well, you know, they got warm-up bands. And the, the warm-up band was some local high school bunch of kids. And this auditorium, you couldn't stand anywhere without bumping into people. So the warm-up band got all done. They took an intermission. We came back in, and there were 25 people left in the auditorium when ELO played. Some were in my collection of color slides. I am on stage getting pictures yeah. of the band. On stage, Whoa. they didn't say anything about it. It was awesome, and they played just like that. That arena was full of people. That's it awesome. Was I like Jeff. But the local, the local, they knew the, the nitty gritty whatever band, you know, but they had never heard of ELO. They went there to see the band that was doing the warm up because it was local, mm. and they all. It's like my God, you people don't know what you're missing. My wife calls me one day. She says, that's not funny. That's not funny. I'm like, what? She goes, you said I won take that. Uh, I called and pretended I was a radio station that she put in for these tickets. And I go, no, I didn't do it. I'm seriously, I'm not, it wasn't me. I didn't, I'm not messing with you. She won <laughs> backstage passes with the Who and Robert Plant. And we got to sit and have dinner with Robert Plant <laughs> and talk to him about like different albums they put out with Led Zeppelin and stuff. <laughs> The guys from The Who were assholes. Really? They, they didn't want to talk to us or anything. But Robert Plant, they did a whole video with us, and uh, 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 they put together a, C a DVD that has like us asking questions, and, or my wife asking questions, and uh, it was awesome. It was just amazing hanging out with them. I Phenomenal. saw them for a second, guys. I swear I saw... I saw Maz. Yeah, I think I saw him oh, yeah. in too. You're not here though. <laughs> you were here for uh, a second. I don't need to My hand's still not working. I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> he completely shut off the PC, turned it all back on again, and tried to open everything, and it's still not working. Well, up at, up at the top of your up at the top of your Hangouts. Now you make sure that that just clicked for the camera to be on. Hang on. Yeah, you might accidentally turn right it off. In the middle of the screen. Yep. Maybe that's what I've got to do. There you turn go. It on. Turned it on. It's still no blue light. Main's still not working. Stupid camera. Oh. Huh. Uh, button on the top right of the that says off air. Is that? Is that normal? What's that, Dennis? Top right of my screen, there's a black and white, just like a button that says off air. O F F A I R. It, I yeah, that's normal. It says you're not hosting or what, but it but uh, it does it, it does say live. It does say a yellow box with live, right? I don't see that. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, it's, always, it's, it's, been, it's been there. I've only used Hangouts four times, maybe, and it's been there each time. But I'm, I, yeah. I'm See, if you take your cursor, anybody that is not used to Hangouts, and you move it around the top of my box, 
you'll see it's got a microphone, a camera, signal strength, settings, and then leave the call. Um, leave settings. Hmm, okay. They still have what call Don't call touch them. any buttons. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing I was going to ask Mars was how much brandy you had. <laughs> <clears throat> was, was that it, Mars? Was it across the top when you had to turn the camera? Yeah, straight into settings, and I had to um, <clears throat> choose the other camera instead of the laptop camera. Yeah, yeah thank you, Paul. I, I've had that reset itself before because I've been on several times. And He's supposed time. to thank me because I told him where to go. Oh, there, there you go. go. <laughs> Behind every good man is an even better woman. Yes. <laughs> yeah, well, no, you're actually right, Paul, because I'm just so used to joining in, like, whatever stream, and usually the blue light comes on the camera and it all works fine and... Right. Well, I've noticed lately I've had to do what you said, go into settings and choose the other camera. I mean, it never used to do that before. So I'm thinking yeah. I've got to shut down my computer, restart it, because I went with this through Roland as well. And the exact same thing happened. I probably didn't have to shut the PC down, just had to got go into settings and choose the right Where camera. You, you yeah. live and learn, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So how, how is everything on your side of the world? Yeah, good. Went to um, the train and hobby show today and, yeah, had a few drones out. I'm actually, um, yeah, halfway through editing a video at the moment of um, today's event. So, yeah. Yeah, I posted up, uh, oh, probably last month when we uh, when I went to my first whoop competition. And um, you all see me running into someone. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> I did apologize, and the guy was was really fantastic about it. So yeah, I did um went <laughs> straight into his nostrils. <laughs> whoops, whoops. <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, I had a ball, and yeah, that was my first first time I ever raced. I got oh, I got in one lap, full lap, one full lap. Yeah, the winner got like twenty laps, but hey, you got to start somewhere, right? Eh? <laughs> Now, are, are you like a, uh, one of the other competitors? Oh, Pardon? Yeah. Sorry. What was that, Rodney? Uh, is that the one? Did I see that video? Was that you that ran into the other competitor? Yes, that's it. Yeah, I just okay. posted it. Yeah, I saw that video. Yeah, yeah I did that. You know, now, uh, are, yeah, well, yes, are, yesterday, today, yeah. Mars, are, Mars, are you like every other drone racer that I know that they're they're working towards working up to the big X class racers? Oh, I, I think I've jumped X class and gone into another uh, class altogether. The video before the one I just posted um, at Avalon Air Show, they've got a new two new classes. Not not stepping away from X class, but it's got to do with more advertising. They call it an S five hundred. It's just a H type um, style quad with a with a narrow body, kind of like the Inspire body, where they can, you know, it's now it's very like you know real narrow across the top, uh -huh. and it goes down, and you can put sponsorship on the sides. Uh -huh. So when they're actually like yeah, when they're flying around. The spectators can see more advertising and it might be heading that way. And then you've got the next size up, which is 1.3 metres. That is like this. This is the size of quad, yeah? It's, mate, it's bigger than me doing this. It's like taller than me, yeah? <laughs> mate, those things are insane. The big ones, the 1.3 metre, well, X class and above, um, they will hit 160 kilometers an hour in four seconds. Sorry, one second. No, four seconds. The smaller S500 will hit uh, 100 kilometers an hour in a second. Wow. Bang, 200 miles an hour in one second. That's what those S500s, the small ones in that last video, I did. 
I only do pictures and I put like a collage of, of photos together. So I apologize for that, but I'm getting around to the next one with actually got video footage. So there's robots involved and yeah, trying to do a three part type thing. Because <laughs> it's too much for one video. Yeah. Because then you've got to add three songs and yeah, it's just too much. Then it's like, like comfortable really looking, ready for you to yeah, 15 minute video. So try to keep it to like about three minutes. You know, try. You try. People yeah. having fun with me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Rick, you're going to love some of the footage I got for you today. Spewing, I didn't get more, but I'm not that big into trains. But I did get some stuff for you, and it's coming in the next next videos coming up. I'll definitely so you. The cop out there. All I got to say is, oh my god, the trains are crazy, man. Yeah. The uh, yeah. You know, I live in the redneck south, so, you know, uh, hobby shows aren't very prevalent. But, my God, we have a gun and knife show every week. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we had a uh, – yeah, it was – you would have loved it if you were here. I can tell you that much. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I've got a little bit of footage. Well, I, I sent Mr. Mark a link now that I know how to – this is good. I, I can do it quicker now than I used to. That's really nice. So that means you don't have to you don't have to return your new computer then. Yeah, that's exactly what that means. I was getting a little worried I wasn't gonna be able to do what I used to do. And that would not be in, in this age, if you can't copy and paste, you're done, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's, it. yeah. <laughs> that's the truth. <laughs> I knew there had to be a trick to do it. I just, you know, it's called negative habit transfer. I'm trying to bring something from the IBM side to the Mac side and it just doesn't work. Right. Dennis so, Dennis. Who says you can't teach an old, old dog new, new tricks? <laughs> My ex-wife. Which one? <laughs> number, number, number one, two, and three behind each door. <laughs> what about them, Paul? They couldn't teach this old dog any new tricks. Oh, well. Least ways yours didn't sleep in bed with another woman. I, I I never could figure that out, but I don't know. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, the reason <laughs> you come home and find them that way, you just walk out the door and say a big D word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that actually happened to a friend of mine. It happened to me. How do you think you compete with something like that, my friend? You oh man, you. I didn't know that. That's rough. And not only that, it happened after a 12 and a half hour drive to go home to visit her on the weekend. Wow. Oh, heavens. Unbelievable. <laughs> then I found the right one. We've been together for 37 years and got two good kids. Deal. So good deal for that. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the friend of mine, we you guys were stationed together in Air Island. And um, he come into class one day. We were both in school. And he come into class one day and he sat down in his chair rather hard. He just sat there and the whole class, he just sat there and stared. And I, finally, when we got a break, I asked him what was wrong. And he looked up at me and he said, my wife left me. Oh, my. And I'm like, oh, no, for another woman. I'm like, what? Whoa. That's crazy. I was I was flying. I, uh, I won't say young. He was in his late 30s when he went through the Cobra transition here at Fort Hood. His name was Vic Malgrom. He was a captain at the time. And he had, he was flying pretty good. And all of a sudden, this day he came in and uh, he's not flying like a bag of donuts or something. And I go, man, what is with you? You were doing good these last couple of days. And now you just, yeah, my, my wife filed for a divorce, blah, 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 blah. I said, well, okay, let's shake it off and do some more flying. I says, at least wish your wife didn't leave you for another woman. He started laughing so damn loud. I had to stop <laughs> laughing. I had to kick him out and use the other student. I said, I'll, I'll fly you double tomorrow, but you need to go. You, you can't concentrate. <laughs> well, well uh, Rick, you, you, at least you knew how to cheer him up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when I left here after teaching for three years in Cobras, I got to the unit, and he was our <laughs> Operations officer, went, please tell me you're not letting him fly Cobra. <laughs> he, he was flying Huey's, 
and only with an IP. So, okay, that's good. I'm, I'll be safe in the airspace. Hey, Miles. Miles. Hey, what? 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 what, what? Oh, that's man. Good. 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 Oh, yeah, Here. that's... Let me present, Sean. Go ahead, Sean. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. What a great fish yesterday. Oh, crazy. I crazy. can't wait to play. I'm going to go out and take it out today, man. Yeah, take care with today. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. how are you doing with the whoops? Well, I haven't flown them. I was... Um, oh, a friend of mine was going to come past, but... He'll, um, if he wasn't going to come past tonight, he'll come past tomorrow. So we're going to catch up and um, get out my whoop gates and, uh, yeah, see what we've come up with down here in my neck of the woods. That's uh, my friend Face. Uh, me, no fly. One kick-ass FPV pilot. That's all I've got to say. <laughs> He's got some, yeah, good sticks on him. He's um, uh, sponsored by Cadex. Night Train. Good morning, friend. What's up, Night Train? Yes, I did. Uh, Mark, did you not get it? Check your spam. Ooh, I said spam. Good thing Puss is not here. <laughs> hey, what's up with spam? I like spam. 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 Eggs and spam. <laughs> There we go. This is the spam, 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 spam. I love spam. Yeah. I don't want to talk about any spam. I don't I don't like spam. Like spam. <laughs> okay, let me do it again. Spam you can eat. <laughs> Not the spam you can spam. <laughs> spam, 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 spam. Spam, spam. Eggs spam, spam. Spam. We have spam, spam, eggs and spam, spam, eggs and spam, eggs, eggs, spam, spam, spam eggs. You have anything about uh, spam? Just spam. Bonnie Python, anybody? <laughs> oh, we saw that movie was on TV here yesterday the day before. Oh, the how many snake people remember Dr. Demento? Dr. Oh, Demento. Oh, Demento. Oh, my God. Dr. Yeah, yeah. Demento. And W... Um, H-J-Y. Yeah. Dr. Demento, Wolfman, Jack. Dennis, where are you located? Georgia, Peachtree City. Okay, yeah, I'm in Massachusetts. Yeah, I would have said in a house, but that's me. You what? Welcome to the Dr. Demento oh, Show, yeah. Morons, Mental Paths, and Psycho Defectors. I would have said in a house, but that's just me. In know? a house. <laughs> <laughs> In the kitchen. Yeah. Can't help myself. <laughs> <laughs> the cockroach that eats Cincinnati. That was yeah. <laughs> Kill the tomatoes. Oh, now, I uh, evidently the only thing in common was the address. You would thought it would have said, hey, where's the rest of the address? But it didn't. You should have one now. Hi, and welcome to World of Moron Psychopaths and Mental Defect. Oh, this is the Dr. Demento Show. All my fellow geriatrics, you have to move at least once every 30 seconds or so so we know that you're still alive. Hey, yeah. Mark's in the house. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, fancy Mark. Good, Good morning, morning, Mark. Man, you're really tearing up that OBS, man. Hey, how's it I going, guys? Even, looking good. My I couldn't even figure out how to get my camera to present in OBS last night on this thing, but I'll get there. That's that's pretty easy. I can help you with that. I just figured it out myself. <laughs> that's what I'm doing right now. So, how's hey, it going, Mars? Hey, hey Central. <laughs> yeah, right, Paul and uh, <laughs> Rodney Bell. Of course, Dennis, uh, yeah, you have nothing to worry about. Like I said, I'm a big pussycat. I'm not ready for those tough questions yet, so you're all safe. You're uh, my guinea pigs. I'll work on you. Maybe I'll try one just to see how I can pull it off. But I trust me, I'll blush before you will. 
<laughs> you know, hey Dennis, I've I've been joking, but Mark really is kind of a pussycat, so kind I, of. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm, I'm absolutely convinced I'm in good hands. The word the word for the day now is pussycat. <laughs> oh, okay. cat. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, it was Mark that said that about himself. I think. Yeah, it's me. It's me. I'm. I'm a. Hey, hey, Mark. Being a pussy cat's okay as long as I don't call you Josie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh man, and 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 uh, and uh, uh, let's see who was saying it before, Mr. Crowley, right there. Yes, uh, big fan of Monty Python. Know the spam bit, knew it right away. So have at it, oh, <laughs> Mr. Bunny. Did we do that? Oh, I thought he was naming uh, uh, different spam dishes. <laughs> hey, my wife made me fried spam and eggs last weekend, and it was delicious. I'm here to tell oh, you. Oh, I, I love fried spam. Hey, oh, hey, my wife's on the phone. I gotta go, guys. Okay, right. okay. Take care. See, you, see you later, Dennis. You see you, Dennis. Thank you, sir. Hey, hey, Rick, are you trying to are you trying to one up uh, Canadian Drone Hub with the largest mm -hmm. panel? Feed me up. Uh, no, no, I can pick you up. <laughs> No, I just, I, Mark, I'm here to tell you, I was worried that this thing wasn't going to work. I couldn't figure out how to cut and paste and send links, and Dennis helped me out with that. And uh, I don't know how it looked on y'all's end, but on my end, it's way better than my other machine. <laughs> it's looking fine. Yeah, it's working good. I, 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 I downloaded OBS last night, and the only thing I couldn't find, I used to have, well, on the IBM side of the house, I've got... Uh, I don't know what you call it, but the scene, not the scenes as in presenting, but the backgrounds or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I had a bunch of them. I couldn't find them on the, on the Apple version, but I'm going to look into that. But for the first time, I started OBS last night, and it didn't say, we ain't got enough shit to run this. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a good feeling. Well, I've got a terabyte of video RAM. I've got a terabyte of RAM, and I've got a terabyte of hard drive. So... I don't think I can get much more than anything that, and it's only in a standalone. No, you, a, you can have, you can have yeah. two terabytes, two terabytes, and two. Ter but if your internet yeah. doesn't allow that to process, it doesn't matter how much gigabyte. The same. I'm going for the same thing. I've got two gig external, one gig SSD, my MacBook 2010, eight gig uh, RAM, and no matter what I increase it to, I can only upload no more than uh, two megabytes per second. That's it. Well, up until there's a couple of months away and we get optic fiber, which is a different kettle of fish, but I'm limited. So no matter what kind of a computer I had, you can only upload just under two megabits per second. Downloads a different kettle of fish, but upload like you know when you want to put your video up on YouTube. The, the, my last video took me two hours, whereas it should be you know three minute video. It should take like three minutes, but yeah. yeah. And my problem, I have uh, two hundred download and twenty two megabyte upload. I have no problem yeah. with the internet, but my problem was I try to do all this crazy stuff with OBS and bringing people in with Skype and that. My problem yeah. was the damn uh, graphics card. Yes, yes, that's right. And once yes. and once I upgraded the graphics card, I realized uh, my power supply wasn't strong enough to run the graphics card. So graphics. I dropped the power supply. It's yeah. it's a never ending chase your tail business. This uh, yeah. live streaming crap. Very true. <laughs> Very true. Very true. Yeah, that's Very that's true. why I went this route was to get this end to work better. And finally, I could start OBS, and it doesn't. It's, it just used to start laughing at me on my IBM. <laughs> <laughs> you want to you want to do what? <laughs> Considering your um your internet there, Rick, like even I'm surprised all of us are in the chat all at one, like you know how poor it used to be. Like yeah, what is yeah, yeah, what what is your upload speed, Rick? That's, that's just crazy. one point five MIPS. Okay. Well, here's the thing. One point five you said? You've yep. got Roger B. He has less than one. Yeah, I know. I know. So which is amazing he can get a panel like this on there too. So <laughs> That's right. Yeah. There's Somebody, hope for us all. 
Somebody yeah. was saying that the reason that is is the majority of the work done by Hangouts is done at Google mm -hmm. on their servers. Yeah. That it's not yeah. running as intense on your machine. Yeah. So. yeah. You try to run one or two calls with Skype with one megabyte upload speed. Yeah, you're yeah, you're down. <laughs> down. Yeah. Trust me, I know. <laughs> Yeah, that, that doesn't work. I haven't used Skype in a long time. We used to use it with the grandkids, and we don't get to do that anymore. The last time I used Skype was about 12 years ago. When it was for free, you didn't have to pay for the home telephone. <laughs> I used to use Skype on the computer, and all of a sudden, the com my computer would be ringing in the bedroom like that was all like new technology for us back then, yeah? <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't yeah, seem that long. Yeah. yeah, this was like, well, well, we had mobile phones at the time, but yeah, mobile phones weren't out that long in Australia. So to have Skype was that new in thing, like, you know, talk for free, doesn't cost you anything. There's no international phone mm -hmm. uh, charges or whatnot. So yeah, call whoever you want around the world. And then next thing you know, Obviously, YouTube, Facebook's come out. Back then, it was uh, MySpace before Facebook. So, but you know. Skype, Skype is free if you download it on your computer now, right? Yeah. I mean, I haven't paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's always you've got a bill coming, Mark. Uh, yeah, right. That's what uh, I'm afraid of. <laughs> yeah, no, Mark. I had I had Skype. Um, yeah, nearly twelve years ago. So, you know, it's a long time ago. A long time ago. And that's I how bad, like, Skype was probably out already, and I didn't even realize maybe it would have been out a few years before that. So I don't actually know, but about 12, somewhere around that 12 year ago, that's mm -hmm. when, yeah, I could make calls to, say, from Australia to my relatives in Croatia, wouldn't have cost me anything. Whereas if I sent a letter, the stamp would have cost me money, the letter would have cost me money, the postage mm -hmm. would have cost me money, so on, so on, yeah. So for me, Skype was like, oh, fantastic, but it'll only work if they had internet. Where my relatives are from, mm -hmm. the countryside, well, they haven't exactly got internet in the country. Oh, so yeah, it's limited. Yeah, because they're kind of, you know, on the poor side of the, you know, the equator. <laughs> and yeah, unless they hit the city, no internet, no Wi Fi. Forget <clears throat> about talking to them. Yeah. Yeah, I mean Skype isn't for everybody. I I yeah, use no. it. To, I I like it for for what I'm trying to do, so I can have multiple people on screen at the same time. I like that for what I'm trying to do, but it it's not necessary. I mean, what we're doing right here is fine yeah. too. Well, I heard it's good with OBS and Skype. Yeah, um, it's not bad. But like I said, yeah, I haven't used Skype in over twelve years, yeah. and the next time I heard of Skype was with actual um, OBS, and I heard Skype was good to use with that. Yeah. Well, I've also heard a lot of other things that yeah. I with APS, but I don't always turn out. I don't know. I suppose it's, I yeah, don't know. Yeah. It could have, yeah, there's a lot of things that can factor into it, like how many people use that and come into that junction box before it goes to your computer. Yeah. And, I you mean, know, it's, yeah, everything's held up in every kind of way that you think about it. You yeah. Know? I mean, <coughs> It, it's Which funny, sucks, yeah. It's funny you mention that Mars because at, you know, I've learned yeah. OBS because it's free first of all, and I like free. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah. you know, everybody says, "Oh, go away from OBS. You want to use this platform? OBS stinks." And people, at, at this point, you know what? It's yeah. like anything else. You've got the people who like one thing, the other. It's like Max versus yeah. PC. They, as long as it does what you need it to do, and you figure it out, I, I, you know I can't what? The way, the way I think of it, Mark. Um, and I hate to say this, but um, you pay for what you get. Yeah. Or you get what you pay for. Oh, I agree with that. You and you have to learn. For it, well, what, are you going to complain? Don't yeah. complain that it's not working properly. You can pay anything for it. When yeah. you pay for it, it doesn't work, well, by all means, have your say, yeah? Yeah, I mean, you learn to work work with inside yeah. your means. And I've, so far, yeah. I get it to do what I need it to do. If I need something yeah. more and something flashier, then maybe I'll yeah. consider buying something. But right now, it seems to be working. Exactly. So it was only a hardware issue for me, not not a oh. an OBS yeah. issue. Um, yeah. Yeah, sure. oh. Well, look at Rick, how we're all on StarCop stream. Mate, we, we've all seen Rick Street. Mate, he's got – mate, I thought I had bad internet, you know, and I have got bad internet in Australia. We're way behind in internet, but you know what? 
to have all of us up, mate, that's that, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it is good. It's very good. I'm not sure, Rodney. I asked a couple times and I typed it in chat. I I, I see his logo up, but I think we lost Manic. I don't know. Yeah, uh, I still see his logo in, in yeah, uh, Hangouts. So he's still yeah, he's like, <laughs> we might have to change his camera and like I did. <laughs> we are from Australia, you know. <laughs> Hi, Paul. <laughs> All right. Hi, how you doing? I'm just I'm experimenting. I've got I've got these little uh filters oh, yeah. for my for Many my Zoom and my enterprise. And I and I'm sitting there looking at myself being a little washed out. So I put one of the filters wow. over top of my camera. That's neat. And it works good. Yeah. Just, that does just, work. A little, just a little ND. This one is an ND. Old man eyes. Uh, ND8. That's pretty cool. Now you got to do is figure out a way to keep it there. Yeah. Uh, if I if I knew somebody that could make a little um, 3D printed little thing to go up there. Want to tip? Want to tip, Paul? Yeah. You know your 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 um your car tint on your car windows. Uh huh. That works exactly the same as an ND filter. Ah. Don't ask me to the numbers, but take my word for it. If you put like um, a friend of mine's got a, a, a whoop, right? A better 75X. Uh -huh. He's got a Cadex camera on it, but he put, um, uh, not a Cadex, sorry, a A. AIO camera or some, I don't know, I'm, I'm still learning all this stuff about the cameras and that, but either way, the, the camera's like, that's not up to the equivalent of a Cadex uh, turtle. Right. You put, um, you put, just put normal window tint off of your car, depend on what grade window tint, I'm not sure exactly what grade, but I'm assuming it'll, you know, how you got 80% and 50 and the rest of it with window tint. Um, well, that's all they use on their cameras. They don't huh. even put a filter. They use a. They'll actually just put um, tint off a car window. They get the right grade, put it over the camera. Beautiful. Thank you. It's exactly like an ND filter. Roger. The mask on your wall. Hey, yeah. Rogers in the house. Good morning, Roger. Roger. He must be getting ready to go live soon. I think he goes on at nine. Uh, nine yeah. Got about twenty minutes. We're the we're the warm up man. That's it. That's it. Hey, hey Mars, for what it's worth, I I, I, I finally sunk some money and, and dipped my fool in the uh, my foot my foot in the pool of uh yeah. FPV. I, I just received oh. last week my transmitter. Awesome. <laughs> Which transmitter what do you have you get? drone? I got the Tyrannus QX7, I believe. Nice. Yep. Nice, yep. nice controller. Um you gotta do it up like that. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. Got to get the stand, good old Banggood for the stand and all your, you know, rubberized knobs and all that, you know. Yep. Nothing like putting rubber on your knob. Yeah, mate, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me how fast to do it. <laughs> now, there's there's the ND filter taped up there. Yep. That's better. Well, likely... Um, Centroid, what do you have for a drone? Nothing yet. <laughs> well, I have the I, I have the whoop that uh, that drone pull sent me to practice on, which is nice. nice. That's fun. Um, I actually am torn, and maybe you guys can help me. I wear glasses, um, but I wear yeah. contacts most of the time, and yeah. I really would like to get some fat sharks for that really immersive feeling. But having the flexibility to wear glasses or contacts, I'm leaning towards the. Uh, yeah. For a couple of reasons, leaning towards the Vipers because yeah, number the one, they're the they're half the price, <laughs> and uh, they have. So, what do you guys think? If you're gonna wear glasses, go with the Vipers. I went with the Fat Shocks, but I wear contacts a lot. Yeah, and the Fat Shocks are phenomenal. Well, that's what I mean. I wear my contacts ninety percent of the time. Yeah, so, I, I would really go with Fat Shocks, but uh, oh, okay, that means I got to save up more now. <laughs> but the thing is, um, well, you can get used. Nice. You not really, use... Mark. Um, I've got a bit of problem, and I've got to go and get glasses because I've got a bit of difficulty seeing 
anything that's close it come, becomes blurry on me, so I've got to pull it away. So yeah. I need glasses to fix that, right? Well, I have that too, and they sell contacts oh. that do that, just to let you know. Oh, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I know that, but okay. I've actually got prescribed glasses for it because I'm not really fucked because I don't have to wear them all the time just if I'm right. know, soldering or reading something small. Otherwise, I'm, my eyes are fine. Mate, I bought these. They dropped them. That's the Top Sky goggles, yeah, $300. Yeah. The module is $70. It's a Furious FPV. Uh, this is the module. So three hundred, just under $400 mm -hmm. with the module. Uh, where have I put it? Oh, that's right. Sorry. Uh, so you know what the module looks like. And it actually fits in these because, and it's true D, 3D. Mm -hmm. That's the module. Um, that's the one I bought. Mm -hmm. You can't use the red case over it because the pins are here. On Fat Shark, the pins are where the actual antennas are. Mm -hmm. that, that, but you can turn the screen around the right way because it's upside down when you put it in, if you get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Mate, these are freaking awesome, man. Yeah. And, and I mean, awesome. Awesome. They got 12. They got the, the they're not 4.3, they're the other size, the 12, 60, and they're, they're big. You can move the things on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I I was worried about the same thing because I thought I needed fat sharks with the dipole uh, lenses that go in here. Mm -hmm. uh, to put the fat shark dipoles in these goggles is a bit of a, it's a bit of a pain in the ass, yeah? Mm -hmm. I don't need them. Mm -hmm. That's all I've got to say. I, I, I've used the, um, um, you know, the goggles drone pool's got those the, big white ones. Yeah, those are the. That's the vipers that's we were it. talking about. Yeah, the vipers. That's it. Look, I, I've looked through them, and look, I'll give those vipers full credit. I wasn't wearing glasses, but they were pretty good. Uh. But I was in. We were in an indoor cricket center, so it was dark in there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what I don't look like, I'd be a little bit worried about because there's nothing, um, you know, here from here to your eyes, mm -hmm. uh, that's all open. So if the, if it's a bright day outside, sunlight's going to get in there. You can't stop it because there's nothing there to stop the sunlight getting in because you've got your glasses and it's so far out. There's, there's a gap between, you get what I'm saying? If I'm looking mm -hmm. that way, there's going to be yeah. a gap. So there's no, there's no there's, gap. yeah, there's, you know, yeah. Isn't, yeah, isn't yeah, there yeah. a removable skirt or something that they have on the vipers yeah, there's, or there's, just for the sides? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not not a hundred percent sure. But look, as they come down, like I said, I've looked through them. It's not like you can tell, you know. But we're in a dark environment, yeah. So mm -hmm. I can't say a hundred percent. These I've got a problem. If I don't put the other thing on top of it, because I can't because of the module. I can't put these visors, that black thing, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That module, if it was a little bit inside the bay, you could put that, but I'm, I've got a Demtel. I'm going to cut the corner out of, going to cut the corner out of this. So, mm -hmm. you know, the modules, I don't know, something like that. And mm -hmm. this, this covers the rest because the only, only direct light I get, if I'm in the sun, not inside, it's through that gap where... Um, that's where the head tracker is in, and the SD cards in there. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I'll take that off. That's it. So, yeah. So what's and the name of those? Goggles. What's the name of those goggles? Top Sky. Top F Sky. F Seven X Version Two. And no, uh, don't, don't even look at Version One. Don't, don't bother. Don't waste your time don't, because they're just full of problems. But the Version Two, what I got? Oh my god! Even. Look, I've watched a lot of videos on these goggles, and they say the the standard diversity module that comes in, which has only got the one antenna, mm -hmm. basically throw it straight out. You know what? I flew my whoop of it. I got video evidence. It worked goddamn good, yeah. And mm -hmm. that's that's the antenna I got with it. This mushroom one. Mm -hmm. This one I've I've gotten afterwards. So I just used the two because I got the dual. You know, I should have the a, a patch and the mushroom or pagoda and patch, but I don't fly FPV, the whoops. No yeah. point putting a patch on this because this that won't go far enough for a patch, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. 
because you fly the whoop inside, you don't need the patch. But obviously, anything I fly, like if I was to buy, say, instead of this brushless, if it was uh, brushed, a uh, better 85, if, which is what I'm actually looking at, because it's under 100 grams, I can put these on, fly wherever I want. I can, even though I've got a I'm license, uh, pilot, license pilot, I can't get in no trouble. Anything over 100 grams, yeah. you cannot fly that FPV in Australia. Doesn't matter what you say. Drone pull. I did watch that video. That's why I think I had. I remember seeing something about the bottom uh, skirt being there. So I have that in yeah, mind. Yeah. And yeah. And oh, uh, one last question. I promise about FEV, and I'll shut the heck up because I know. <laughs> so, no, I'll score. I'll score. <laughs> um, Mr. Crowley, what kind of fat trucks do you have? Because there's so many models of them. I mean, you can go crazy yeah. on prices. I have the Dominator the two um, HDs, yeah. which are awesome. Dominator two, you said That's Dominator two. Yes. I got a really good deal on them, and they work perfect for me. The HD, the um, the Dominator twos are highly rated. Everybody yes. who has them still has them. You know, it's one okay. of those. Yeah, well, I actually really agree. recommend it. Uh, and I got them for hundreds less than I would eight for Dominator threes. Mm -hmm. yeah. The only I'll reason look. I jump on those top skies because. They always drop them by a hundred dollars, yeah. So, three hundred dollars. You know what I mean. You need the diversity module, which I was looking at HD free fat sharks. They're your five hundred dollar range. Australian, I'll say American, not Australian. Australian, it's six seven hundred dollars. You got your HDOs. They're up to nine hundred dollars. No yes. diversity module, mate. Another a diversity module. You're over a thousand dollars for goggles. Yes. That's your HDOs plus your Rapid fire module, which is I still got a, I still yeah, got a yeah, lot of HGO's, learning. Yeah, HDO is a seven hundred Australian. Your diversity module rapid fire is two hundred. That's thousand dollars, yeah. <sighs> thousand dollars. Hey, Philly drone life's in the house. Michael. Yeah. So what no. I did, um, Mark, I went. I don't like buying cheap. I don't like buying lot. Well, don't get me wrong. If I could afford expensive, I would, but. I didn't know what I was going to cop with these tops, guys. I thought, oh, Jesus Christ, I've watched that many videos. Everyone's bagging them. They're crap, they're crap, they're crap. You know what? Oh, I'd hate to say it, but they're actually, well, they weren't bagging the V2s. They reckon the V2s are pretty good. They've obviously got whatever, you know, not like Fat Shark and all the rest of it, but they're pretty good. HDMI, they got everything that, you know, you need, yeah? And they've got the wide vision. The latest Fat Shark HDOs, uh, Seven hundred dollar goggles in Australia, a four point three vision. So you haven't got the wide twelve sixty or whatever. The HD twos, am I correct, Mister Crowley? They've got the wide vision, yeah. Yes, they do. Yeah. The HD three <laughs> and the HDOs, they got four point three. They haven't got that wide view. And personally, mate, I love those. Scott. I like the wide view. I, I, what can I say? I do. I like it. Yeah, I love the HD twos. I mean, I love yeah, the I love uh, the HD twos. Yeah. Yeah, I've only just started, and I thought, oh, geez, do I fork out three hundred dollars for goggles, or do I spend just like a hundred? And sorry to say, but when I first started all this FPV stuff was before Christmas. I got Kaz's boss an FPV package, little toy controller. Um, that's just throw it in the bin as my recommendations, because it's very hard to operate a little whoop with that controller. It's just too small. And I'm, I'm talking about the controller's that big. It's white. It's got blue little handle. Mate, it's crap. Yeah, it's a toy controller. You can't. You know what I mean? If you're going to be serious and fly, and you can't use a toy controller, that's that's for toys. Right. Yeah. So unfortunately, he's stuck with that. And the goggles he got, the goggles are worth like twenty dollars Australian. So could you imagine they're worth all of like five dollars American? Mate, they aren't good quality. They're black and white in actual fact. Yeah. They've not even got color vision. I wouldn't personally recommend that to, that to someone to start off with. I'd recommend, you know what, spend a little bit more, just get a little bit better quality, you'll enjoy it a lot more. Right, and it'll last you longer. Yeah, and it'll last, that's right. Like I said, I could have got the cheap, you know, the big box goggles. Mate, I could have saved myself $200. I, I, I knew by what I got for Kaz's boss, that wasn't that quality range that I, you know, I'm a bit of, I'm a, I'm a bit fussy, yeah. I, you know, 
can't afford the best, don't want the the, the worst, I go in the middle. Yeah, in the middle, yeah, well, that's satisfactory. Yeah, no, I get to enjoy the first ended up with the black goggles, and the yeah. black goggles yeah. are really big on your face. And when you yeah. go some up on your head, they fall off your yeah. head. Yeah. Like some people like it, but look, I've never tried box goggles to be honest. Oh, sorry, tell a lot. Yes, I have. I've actually put on um the DJI. The white ones, I actually tried them before I even owned the drone, yeah, because Kaz went on a breakup and where they went for their breakup, they were actually using um, those 3D goggles, walking around in an empty warehouse, yet going up downstairs and all 3D, you know, like, and go ahead, yeah, this Paul. is before, this, Paul, go yeah, ahead. This is, you can get a YouTube drone here to choose. Go on. Any, any of you FPV guys ever use the Epson? Heads up display glasses. No, but I wanted them for my Phantom. Yeah, the Maverios. Those are nice. Yeah. Very nice goggles. Well, you can use them for yeah, other I things. I see them too. and I see a few reviews, but I don't know, you know <laughs> anything about them. I mean, they're, they're nice because you can use them for other things. They they just allow you to use them with a drone, from what I gather. Like, if you want to watch Netflix and you're on a plane, you can do that if you have internet access. It actually works like a tablet. So, you, so with the uh, with the prisms, you can see through it or direct your focus on it, which right. gives you that, that first-person FPV experience. But it also, I believe, satisfies the line of sight for flying a drone, which is what attracts people to them for drones. I right. have not seen through them yet, and uh, and they're pretty pricey. They're like six, $700 maybe plus. So I won't... Yeah, I won't buy them until I can actually put them on and look through them because I don't know what kind of quality. Because you should be able to see your, you know, your data on your, you know, on your, uh, on your fly app, your DJI fly app at the same time. Exactly. So it's like looking at your yeah. controller, looking at your drone, and seeing what your drone sees all in one. <laughs> so yeah, and Rick, Rick, Rick has experience flying helicopters with uh, heads up, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah the, the Apache uses a monocle system. It's Sits over the right eye. It gives you all your flight data, all your video. You, you can push anything you want through it. And that's how we fly at night. Just look through it. Yeah. Okay. That's That was my only question. Instead of having the big, you know, not even big, the fat sharks are smaller, but having the goggles on and not being able to uh, see, see, and keep your eye on your bird and, and still see and get the heads up and everything well, else. I mean, if you're wearing any kind of goggles, like even the DJI ones, you have a good point there because if you're wearing the goggles as a pilot, you're supposed to have a spotter at that point. Yeah, so, right. But with the uh, Moverios, uh, like I said, it, it satisfies the requirement where you have line of sight at the same time, which is really neat. Right. Here you can't do that. You can only use um, FPV. If you're on private property with a spotter or you're at an organized event or whatever FPV race, then you can use FPV. Otherwise, uh, 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 not allowed to do it full stop. Oh, well, it's advised not to do it yet, but it will become law. That pushing, so. sucks. But what do you do? Uncle says he's, he's faced his fear and he's done some roles in FPV and acro. Oh, boy. Now, did you put the footage up yet, Dan? That's what I want to know. <laughs> the tractor beam has got him really good. Hey, <laughs> brother! Hey, brother, Dan! Not the hair! Not the hair! That's cool. Sorry, if you don't, if you don't get what I'm on about, it's one of his videos. Mrs. Drumpool, not the hair! I ain't got me hair right. <laughs> hey, guys! I'm gonna have to jump off. Um, I gotta. Uh, my grandson got a, a mail call to video to do today, and I want to get him started on that. So, all righty, cool. Um, yeah, we're fixing to shut down, guys, anyway, because we got about three minutes before we'll be eating into Roger's time, and I don't do that. So, I totally really understand about it. Now that we finally got it working, <laughs> well, hey, everybody good, have a good day, and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care, right, Rodney. Right, guys. Be good. I'll, I'll see you, Rodney, and I'm going to step out too. So everybody have a great day, and uh, and we'll see you all on the flip side. Yeah, hope everybody you have, a good have a good one. Take care. take care, guys. God bless. Have a great day. Star Cop out. Pretty good, Scott. And, and take care, good. Rodney. And for what it's worth, Mars and uh, and Mr. Crowley, I plan on.